Hi, welcome to video tutorial number 27. This is a big one, Introduction to Jitter. Um, and today we're going to play a movie. I just want to say that Jitter is sort of the third leg of Max. Um, it, ha it, it works seamlessly with Max, but it also has many things about it that are really its own animal, and, and it has to be in order to play video. So we're going to start at the very beginning and kind of ebb forward and back. There's N for a new patcher. And let's just learn, I'm going to really keep these videos short and simple and insist that you also read some of your assignments to get the gist of this. But let's go ahead and do this now. Um, uh, you got a new patcher up there, type the letter N to get a new object. And let's uh, just uh, zoom in there, and we're going to start typing J I T for jitter, then a dot, then Q T for quick time. And it's coming up with all these things we can do. And we can just go down here and say JIT Q T movie. And it says play or edit a quick time movie. Great. There we are. And then we're going to give it some arguments to work with. Um, and we're going to say 320 by 240. Whoops, I almost forgot. Um, no, no, we'll, we'll do that in the next thing. OK, so this is an object that can play a JIT QuickTime movie. And so all we have to do now is tell it to actually read one. So type M for message. And then type READ, read the movie. Um, and we're going to use countdown because there's a good thing about countdown dot m o v and that is in the uh, it's in a file that jitter uh, that max can find so we're not worried about that so um, and it's also part of the tutorial in case you want to go back and check this out so now we're going to tell this to read this and as soon as it reads it uh, here we'll lock our patcher down just for fun <laughs> and say read it whoa look at that there it is it's reading it and it's playing it how do I know I don't um, just because it's reading it and it's playing it it doesn't mean that we can see it so we're gonna unlock our patcher and add another uh, very useful object type the letter N and then type J I T dot W I N D O there it is JIT window, and uh, let's just leave it like that for the moment. And as soon as we clicked outside it, you see that this box came in up here. And now we're going to lose that box just because this object happens to be in front of that object. And um, we're going to do one other thing, and that's type the letter B to put this bang here so that we can bang our object. So here's the trick with Jitter. This thing has uh, been told to read the countdown movie and unless you tell it otherwise it immediately starts as soon as you tell it to do that. And here's the JIT window which we can't see because it's behind this object. Unless I zoom out we're not going to get to look at it. Oh where are you? There you are. So, there's that window. Maybe I can make this window smaller so that we can fit them all together here. Okay. And we'll move this over here. Okay. So, so we have this running, but we can't see anything, and that's because we haven't told the JIT QuickTime movie object to output anything. And the way that you do that is you send it a bang. So let's lock our patcher and send it a bang. Bang. And it's counting down. I'm going to bang it again. Bang. Two. Bang. Ten. Bang. Seven. Um, might seem to be random, but actually the movie's playing, and this counts down every ten seconds. So let's try to bang at one second intervals and just prove that that's true. Uh, one, 
10, 9, 8, oops, I'm terrible at this, 5, 4, 3, 2, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Oops, missed it. I'm too slow. You get the idea. And if we um, stop for a minute and then click again, it, it gets a few seconds ahead of us. Five, four, three, two. Oh, there we go. Two, one, ten, nine, eight. No, seven, six, five, four. Oh, it's five. Anyway, you get the idea. Um, this thing is continuously playing, but it's not being told to output here. So what do we do? I'm sure that most of you have already guessed what we do is type n and we type in there metro and if we need about 25 frames a second, 24 frames a second that would be 40 milliseconds because if you multiply um, remember this is in milliseconds so 1000 of them equal a second divide 1000 by 25 and you get 40. That's what you do and then we connect this to our bang and we put a toggle type of T on top of that and now we have something that's going to put out bangs um, consistently so we lock our patcher and we tell it go and we get our 25 frames per second here um, running now um, I'm sure you believe me, it's just running. So if we slowed this down to, let's say, doing this every two seconds, which would be 2,000, I'm going to just unlock the patcher, make this 2,000, and we'll only get even or odd numbers, something like that, right? There we go, 2,000. So one, and, uh, oh, did I tell it to go? There we go. 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, 10. Now, um, you notice it's pretty good at keeping this line steady because this thing's really reading it out in milliseconds. If we made it something a little more nutty, um, we'd get that line going all over the place. Anyway, you get the idea. So we have... Uh, let me get back to uh, doing this 25 frames a second. So now um, you have to reset this and turn it on again. So there, so there it goes, counting down exactly the way it should. Um, what else does this JIT window do? What attributes can we tell it to do? Um, one of the things that you can type in here would be the it, uh, the name of the movie and so you could make a space and type um, uh, Harvey and then you could also tell it where you want to position it on the screen now you could give it two or four numbers remember you give it the upper left hand corner and the lower right probably if you just give it the upper left let's say 100 and 200 it will keep the movie the same size so let's just try that and there it moved it 100 and 200 over and it's still running just fine if we added 320 to this um, that would be 420 and added 240 to 200 that would be 440 and so supposedly nothing will change Oh, what a liar. I don't know why it changed. Uh, I couldn't even guess. But um, what I was going to do is rescale this, and if we made this, uh, let's say, 620, then it starts rescaling it to make it fit whatever rectangle you tell it. And here we go again. I'll make this uh, uh, 1,040. Nice. So, and then we'll just go back to the original and get rid of those. Okay. 
So if you don't give it the last two numbers, it just sets it to your movie default size, which is 320 by 240. Okay, and that is how you play a movie in Jitter. Oh, I see what happened. <laughs> I'm, I'm zoomed, that's why it moved around. And it uh, took the new zoom number as a, as a different number, so that's why it jumped around. Anyway, this is how you play a movie using Jitter, and this is the Jitter window. Oh, I'm sorry, and now notice that your window is named Harvey. If you don't name this, by the way, and let's get rid of that, it'll just come up with some uh, name of its own. Usually um, not a very interesting name. There it is. U5030006688 gets to be kind of hard to remember, so I like to name mine just to keep it all simple. Anyway, that's how to uh, play a movie in Jitter, and I will be right back with another tutorial for Jitter. Welcome back, and I'll see you later.